A quick drive by at Positive Changes Hypnosis, you'll notice the reader board is off, the parking lot empty, and new signs on the door. Three day notice to pay rent or vacate. Signed and dated on the 19th of April. Up close, it reads pay the full rent $10,818, representing rent owed for December 2016 through February 2017. All the windows dark. I spent over $2,000. I feel like I was let down. Christina Ogle says she's been coming to Positive Changes since October. I wanted to lose some weight. She had three months left in her program, a signed contract to prove it. I just think it's a shameful thing what they did to us and to the rest of the people that were going because we were counting on them to help us. Just like other customers, she showed up on Monday for her confirmed appointment only to find the doors closed. I could lose all the money that I put in because I even bought CDs and the special glasses too, which the glasses were almost $200. And now she's one of the hundreds of creditors who had money owed to them by positive changes. The company lists up to a million dollars in liability in the bankruptcy filing. The worst part for Christina, she had set up automatic payments. $95 would withdraw from her bank account at the beginning of each month. I reported to the BBB and kind of did my complaint through them and I had to go to the bank the following day and was there for over an hour just taking care of like disputing the claim for one payment. Um, I had to close my car. And she's filed a complaint with the attorney general's office. Now she's waiting. I'm left with not finishing the program. Wondering if she will ever get any of her money back that was supposed to pay and create a positive change in her life. This bankruptcy filing is still the only statement made by the CEO. I've put in numerous phone calls to Cheryl Manchester and I've still not heard back. Reporting in Spokane, Andrew Olson, KHQ Local News.